Digital zoom is a camera feature that I use all the time because it helps me take better photos. Now, if you're not using digital zoom, then you might just be missing out. Want to know more? Well, keep watching. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I post regular photography tutorials, all designed to help you get more from your digital camera so you can take better photos. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This week's video is all about a camera feature called Digital Zoom that I find very useful and I personally use it all the time. Now regular viewers would have seen me talking about this feature in previous videos, but because I've had so many questions about Digital Zoom and because I meet so many photographers who don't know the benefits of this feature, I thought it was time to make a dedicated video all about Digital Zoom. So I hope you're going to stick around and enjoy the video and learn more about how to get the best from this really cool camera feature. So let's begin with the obvious question, what exactly is meant by digital zoom? Well, if sometimes like me, you like taking pictures with a smartphone as opposed to a proper camera, then there's a good chance you've already used digital zoom, maybe without even realizing it. When you pinch to zoom on a smartphone, you're actually using digital zoom. Yes, it gives me a closer shot of our dog Boo, but the quality is really poor. Now the problem here is that a digital image is made up of pixels. So the more you zoom in, the lower the resolution, and this will affect your image quality, and not in a good way. Now when taking pictures of a camera like this, if you want your subject to appear closer and bigger in the frame, you know that you can adjust the zoom on the lens. And if that doesn't get you close enough, you could swap this lens for a bigger lens. This is called a telephoto lens, and this is gonna get you even closer. Now this is called optical zoom because it relies on the optics or pieces of glass that sit inside the lens. It's not digital zoom. Now the advantage of optical over digital zoom is that it doesn't affect resolution and doesn't affect your image quality. So if optical zoom is better than digital zoom, then you'd be forgiven for thinking, what is this fella going on about and why is he talking about the benefits of digital zoom? Well, it's because the benefits are to be found prior to taking the picture, particularly if you're using manual focus. Using digital zoom, you can nail the focus every single time. And this is a technique that I use a lot myself and it's very popular with landscape, macro, architecture and astrophotographers. Now for me, I'm a big fan and a big user of autofocus, particularly if I'm shooting a moving subject, which can be tricky to focus on. So I'm thinking about maybe sports or wildlife photography. But if I'm photographing a static scene, such as a landscape, then I've got a bit more time and I'll often be using manual focus. And I'll also be taking advantage of digital zoom to help me fine tune the focus and make sure that it's absolutely spot on. Let me show you. Now typically most cameras will have two buttons on the back with these icons on the buttons or next to them. Now these are referred to as the magnify buttons. Now I like to refer to this as digital zoom. The plus button will zoom in or magnify the image and the minus button of course will zoom out or decrease the size of the image. So for my subject I'm using a can of lemonade which I'm just going to rest here on the Death Star. Now turning the live view mode on, I'm able to see effectively what the camera is about to record. And to be fair, looking at the screen, this looks pretty sharp, but I'm gonna use the digital zoom button. So I'm pressing the magnify button on the back of the camera. I'm gonna zoom in and I see now that things aren't actually too sharp. So I'm reaching around to the front of the lens. I'm adjusting the focus ring. And now the subject looks much sharper. Now this could easily have been missed. Now, as I've mentioned already in this video, I personally use digital zoom all the time. It's a really great feature. Just a few nights ago, I shot this image in Brisbane. Now I use digital zoom to help me get the story bridge nice and sharp. What about this moonshot that I shot earlier in the week? And I also featured digital zoom in a video that I just put out called Macro Photography for Beginners. 
Now I just want to briefly mention what digital zoom can't do. When taking a picture with a camera like this as opposed to maybe a smartphone, digital zoom isn't going to affect the end result. So it's not going to affect your picture in any way. When I was photographing the moon, I used digital zoom to make the moon appear really big on the screen and this helped me then adjust the manual focus so I could absolutely get the focusing spot on. But that didn't mean when I took a picture the moon looked that big because when you take the picture digital zoom is cancelled. Now for those of you watching who might be using mirrorless cameras, did you know that when playing back your images, as an alternative to viewing the images on the LCD screen, you can also view your images through the viewfinder. Now this I find particularly useful if I'm checking my images and I'm outside on a bright day. Plus, yes, you can also use digital zoom to zoom into your image and check the focus all within the viewfinder. Now it's nearly the end of the video, but as a thank you for those of you still watching, I've got a really cool bonus tip, and this is for when you're playing back and viewing your images. Taking an image and being able to review the image immediately is one of the biggest advantages that digital cameras have over film cameras. But viewing an image on an LCD screen that is around three inches wide is not always ideal because even a blurry image will appear sharper when viewed on a small screen. For example, here is an image that is clearly out of focus, but the smaller we make it, the sharper it will appear, and this can be very deceiving which is why it's so disappointing to get home and view an image on a larger screen only to find out the image you took was not in focus. Now that doesn't have to be a problem with digital cameras because when playing back and viewing your images, you can press the plus button to zoom in or magnify the image. And this of course is a great way of checking that the image is sharp and in focus. And if it's not in focus and it's not sharp, then you have the opportunity to try again. But here's my tip. Did you know that when you have zoomed in on an image, if you rotate the dial on the camera, you can then view the next image, but at the same magnification. Now this is a great tip and a great way of comparing images side by side. And when you're done, just press the minus button to zoom back out. Now bonus tip number two, when looking for an image on a camera, it can be tiresome skipping through the images one by one. So instead, press the minus button to zoom out or reduce the magnification and you will see smaller thumbnails of your photos. Now you can skip through the images much quicker and this is a much more efficient way of finding images. Once you've found the image you want, simply press the plus button to view the image at full size. So now you know all about digital zoom. I really hope that this is a feature that you're going to use and enjoy using. And of course, I hope it helps you take better photos. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up because it does help the videos get noticed and that helps the channel grow. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you're ever visiting Brisbane, make sure you check out my photography courses and workshops. I'll put a link up here and also down below to the PhotoGenius website so you and find out more. All that's left to do is to say a big thank you for watching this video and for supporting my channel and I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.